Hello, and welcome to a tutorial to help you with your assignment to find an article in Academic Search Premier, one of our periodical databases. My name is Meryl Geffner, and I'm the librarian who will be uh, working with you this quarter. So to start, go to your class resource guide and click on the tab Articles. In the first box, click on Academic Search Premier. If you're on campus, you'll get directly into the database. If you're off campus, you'll need to log in with your last name and student ID number. Now the trick to searching a database like this one is to create well-focused searches so you get a reasonable number of results, not hundreds or thousands, and your results should be focused on what the type of information that you're looking for. That might sound easy, but depending on your artist, you might need to try several different searches to get to a good number of highly relevant articles. So let's start. I'm going to be searching for articles about the Colombian artist Fernando Botero. So I'm going to start by just typing his name in the first line, and I'm going to do a search. And as you can see, here's my results. I got over 600, which is way too many articles to begin to look through. Um, so I'm going to focus the search by doing a couple things. One is I'm going to check this box for full text. That will ensure that I will only get in my result list articles that have the full article available to you electronically. And as you can see, it cut our list down quite a bit. It's still over, well over 100, so I would like to focus this even more. So I'm going to now add a keyword. And with keywords, you are want to use words that will um, express the type of information that you're looking for for your part of the assignment. So that word can be an art form, it can be an art movement, it can be a country or an issue that is identified with your artist. Um, you just want to think of different words that really um, express the type of information that you're looking for. I'm going to add the word sculpture because that's the kind of art he did. And let's try a search and see what that does. Okay, so you can see just by adding that one keyword, it really cut down my results by a, by a lot. And I now have a very few, a reasonable number to look for. Um, I might need to play around and broaden it out if I can't find a good article in this list of eight. But let's take a look at these. Um, the second one right here, this tells me, this looks like, you look at the, this is called the record. And what this record tells me is actually this is a book review if you look at the document type. So that's not really going to serve our purpose because we're looking for art, an article that has information in it about Botero and the work that he did. So I'm going to go back to my result list and look at some of these other titles. And what you want to begin to do is just browse the titles and try to zero in on one that looks relevant, again, to the type of information that you're looking for. And I'm going to look at number five because this looks a little more promising. So here's the record. Here is all of your bibliographic information that you will need when creating your MLA citation, your author. The source, this is the name of the magazine that this article is from, and a little some of the publication information, the date, the volume, the issue, and a little bit more information. Here's the abstract. The abstract is a summary of the article, and very important to read the abstract because that will tell you if the article is really relevant to what you're looking for and will have the type of information that you want. And once you read the abstract, if it looks good, you can then go ahead and read the full text of the article. And there's this is available in two formats. You can open it up as a PDF or as an HTML, which is down here. And here you can see this actually has some information that might be useful. It does talk about um, his work and what he's known for. Um, so this looks like it would, might be a very useful article for my for your for what the kind of information I'm looking for. Um, if I want this article, we you can email it to yourself by clicking on this email icon. It'll show up in your inbox. Um, another good feature is that you can they will help create a citation for you. So if you click on this site link and you scroll down, you will see that they do have an MLA citation. Just be careful when you use this citation to double check it against something official because often anything that generates citations they do make mistakes so you don't want to um, have an incorrect citation just because you copy and pasted what they did. You also can print out the article. So that's the first part of your assignment. For the second part of your assignment you're going to be evaluating this article that you found. Um, looking at a source with a critical eye is an essential part of doing any kind of research, whether it's for academic or for personal reasons. Uh, with so much information available, you want to make sure that what you end up with is reliable, accurate, and useful and relevant to the kind of research that you're doing. So even in a library database, you want to look critically at the, any article that you find. And to help you do this, some very smart librarians came up with a tool 
to help with the evaluation process, and it is called the CRAP test. The CRAP test, what you can see, is it uses C-R-A, and I throw in an extra A, P, CRAP, to kind of guide you with, give you criteria to evaluate the source. So you see C is for currency. What's the date? How timely is, in, is the information? When was it published? R is for relevancy. How important is it, the information in the article for what you really need? Does it give you the kind of information that you want? A for authority. Who wrote the article? Could be an individual author, might be an organization, a sponsor. You always want to know the source and you want to know if they are qualified to write on this topic. Accuracy. How reliable does the information look? Can, has, does it look familiar or does it look really like something that you had never seen before? And you probably want to verify that this information is accurate by looking at other sources if it seems unusual to you. The purpose, and this is particularly important with websites. Um, why does the information exist? What's the purpose of having it there? What are the intentions? And does the author or the sponsor make their intentions clear? It's all very important. So. In the second part of your assignment, you'll see on your assignment sheet that you'll be asked to write a paragraph using the CRAAP test to explain why you selected that article and applying at least three of these five elements to back up your decision. And for the final part of this activity, um, Melissa will be passing that on to you. So good luck. If you have any questions, please contact me. Here's my information. You can always reach me in the library. Thanks.